Everybody, it's going on two o'clock in the morning, and I jinxed myself. I've been so tired because I haven't been sleeping because of all the stress I've been under. So I decided last night to take a couple of Tylenol PM, which apparently has Benadryl in it, and my new restless leg syndrome medication does not like Benadryl. So, I have restless legs. <laughs> so, all of those that I told about Mirapex, which is the restless leg syndrome medication, it does work wonderful. Just don't take any Tylenol PM or Benadryl with it because it makes it not work. So, here I am at 2 o'clock in the morning, ready to pass out because of the Tylenol PM. And I can't because my restless legs are going. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of wandering around the house right now. Catch you all in a little while. Bye. Boomer. Boomer. You cannot surf the web. I need my, my computer. I need to look for airline tickets. Boomer. I need my computer. Boomer! I need my computer! <laughs> that doesn't mean lay down on it! Kevin? Can you do something with your cat? <laughs> Thank you! Hey, Boomy! <sighs> Morning, sweetheart. Morning. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah? Yep. Did you get enough sleep? Yeah, I think I was fine. <laughs> you didn't, obviously. No, I didn't. Hello, Boomy. Hello, Boomy. No, I didn't get much sleep at all. But I did just get a good phone call. Good. So. I didn't sleep very good last night. I already recorded that earlier this morning. Um, but I got an email finally from um, the doctors about my surgery and my referral has already been put in. I'm waiting for the surgeon to call me to set up my consultation. So, um, when they call to set up my consultation, I can set that date for sometime in August. So that's going to be pushed out further than what I really wanted it to be. But I got to do what I got to do because I did get a phone call from my mother this morning. My father's biopsy is going to be on the 16th. And the doctors are telling her that the biopsy could take two to three weeks before they can have that finished and then they'll be doing his surgery. My mother says, let's push it to one to two weeks, just, you know, in case they able to rush it through and all of that. So I am going to be able to do the Joshua Tree investigation and then fly out either the following night or the following, the day, the morning after that. So, um, I feel a little bit more at ease right now knowing that I can actually look for a ticket and book a ticket. Even that's kind of stressful though because, you know, we're so tight on money right now with Kevin's unemployment, but we're going to book the ticket and then he's going to sell stuff on eBay and Craigslist and hopefully make that money back up because I have to get my ticket now. So. There's our morning. Hope you guys are all having a better one than us. Bye. See, he loves me too.
Is that enough? Is that enough? <laughs> That's it. Too many kisses. Too many Get some beer in the refrigerator. Yeah, it is way too small. I knew it. Uh, the biggest problem is um, I can't really stand anything up in there. Those little ones are scraping the top, and these won't go in this way. I can't put it here because it hits the neck. Oh, I had a liar of myself. So because oh. he's able to keep his drum set set up all the time. He has a little shelf unit over here in the corner where he can actually keep his drumsticks and everything set up. Pretty cool. And uh, maybe he can find a place over there to set his beer. <laughs> I have a stand for my beer. Oh, it that's right. It attaches to my uh, That's right. Stand. I forgot. I forgot you have a stand specifically for your beer. Of course I do. What do you think this is? You think I'm a, a an amateur? Amateur? No, you're not an amateur. You're been a being player you're been a being drinker for a long time now. All right. <laughs> How do I look? Chill, man. You look chill. <laughs> I got a nice pack here, and I got a nice pack here, and my top hat's holding it on. <laughs> Yay! What do you think, Boomer? Crazy or not? Just stare at me if you think it's crazy. There you go. <laughs> he stares at you anyway. Hey, so everybody's been talking about this. Uh, we've been talking about this. Uh, I got Dave here, who's uh, my guitar player. Uh, we're doing acoustic today because uh, we don't want to drag all the equipment upstairs. Uh, rest of the band is not here today. We're just going to be brainstorming. Uh, so uh, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right now, we're brainstorming some tunes and uh, figuring out what we're going to do. It already sounds to me like I need to buy some drum equipment. Because uh, we're doing a lot of acoustic, which means I'm going to have to look for some uh, congas and bongos and maybe a box drum. So, anybody got any ideas, let me know. But uh, we got some cool stuff going.
ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls of all ages. I hope you had a good time with us today and got to see a little bit of the American settlers. If you did enjoy this video, give it a great big thumbs up and if you haven't already, press that little red subscribe button down below. As you can tell, I'm all alone doing the closing tonight because Kevin's just a tad bit drunk. So, share this video with your family and friends. We'll let you know once we get the American Settlers channel up and running for you guys to go and check them out. See you guys all later.